All right, y'all. So here's a story about George W. Bush, the 43rd President of the United States, hand-selected by the U.S. Supreme Court to be your leader, my leader, our leader, the leader of the free world, the most powerful man on the planet. Talk about frightening. Jeez, the man cannot even speak without fucking up a sentence. He cannot even make the subject and the verb match. Rarely is the question asked, is our children learning? I don't know, George, is they? Damn, how embarrassing. A C average student in college who only got into Yale because his daddy, number 41, first attended there. Talk about affirmative action, shit. But of course, W doesn't support affirmative action, does he? Yeah, unless it benefits the rich. Too bad there was no, no child left behind when Bush was in school, right? Or maybe he needed to be left behind. Maybe his daddy should have just pulled out, just like we should do in Iraq now. You know he's a simpleton when people refer to him not by his name, but by one little letter. W. W. The President. More like you, the idiot, and you voted for him twice? Pathetic. So W becomes President, and what does he do? He fucks up the whole country and much of the world. And for what? To start a war for oil? And yet gas prices are at the highest level of my life? Now this makes no damn sense. But I'll tell you what does. For oil, no killing for game, people dying for nothing, it's a goddamn shame. No war for oil, no killing for game, people dying for nothing, it's a goddamn shame. Here's a story that I got to tell about one motherfucker that you know so well. It started way back in 1993, the project for a new American century. That's when they first put the plans on paper, how they go to Iraq in order to rape her. It's all for money. It's all for the oil, just what's our crew doing under their soil? War for oil, no killing for gain, people dying for nothing, it's a goddamn shame. No war for oil, no killing for gain, people dying for nothing, it's a goddamn shame. 1997, PNAC came about, but they'd have to wait years to carry it out. Their plans to invade, to topple Hussein, and of course the beginning of Bush's reign. When Cheney picked himself to be the nation's VP, invading Iraq was a certainty. They wrote they needed a Pearl Harbor type attack, and it came in the form of Islamic blowback. War for oil, no killing for gain, people dying for nothing, that's a goddamn shame. No war for oil, no killing for gain, people dying for nothing, it's a goddamn shame. For all the shit we've done from the 50s till today, Bin Laden used to work for the CIA. Saddam used to be our nation's boy. Reagan sent Rumsfeld as a special envoy. He shook Saddam's hand and said, nice job, we appreciate you taking on the Iranian mob. On 9-11, when America changed, every leader in our country was all deranged. War for oil, no killing for gain, people dying for nothing, that's a goddamn shame. No war for oil, no killing for gain, people dying for nothing, it's a goddamn shame. Bush said hijackers weren't a threat to the nation. He ignored the warnings when he was on vacation. So the attacks came, and we the people suffer. Not Bush and his cronies, protected by the buffer of the White House, Congress, and the Supreme Court. Making sure the power stays with the powerful sort. This explains how we got into this mess. Makes me wish for the days of the stained blue dress. No war for oil, no killing for gain. People dying for nothing, that's a goddamn shame. No war for oil, no killing for gain. People dying for for nothing, it's a goddamn shame. Instead of a Clinton, we get the son of a Bush. From his first day in office, he lied like a crook. He thought, what can you do with the poor and the black? I'll start a lot of war and send him off to Iraq. Send him off to the land with the sand and no water. To the Bush administration, they ain't nothing but fodder. It's the same old story, it's the same old shit. But as for me, I'm fucking done with it. No war for oil, no killing for gain. People dying for nothing, it's a goddamn shame. War for oil, no killing for gain, people dying for nothing, it's a goddamn shame. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful, and so are we. They never stop thinking about new ways to harm our country and our people, and neither do we.